Just in case the last video did not make it overwhelmingly obvious, I am obsessed with Horizon Forbidden West. I loved that first game, man. Prehistoric people in the year 3000 riding robot dinosaurs had six-year-old me screaming. But round two? I... I, I mean... I, I don't have the words. Every right note a game can hit for me. Style, scope, system, story, just bang, 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 bang. Everything about it, my eyes just melting right out of my f***ing head for like 127 hours or something insane as I totally let go of reality and gave it all over to this game. Like, dude, I just freaking walked everywhere because I wanted to breathe in every last handcrafted detail. <sighs> I didn't want to leave a single perfectly placed stone unturned. I was in so deep, it was past looking at pretty post-apocalyptic colours. I'm talking, I'm standing on the edge of a drop-dead gorgeous waterfall going, God, I love geography. Where does that river flow from? Why do these trees grow here? What did they build this town with? Look at the leaves and the rocks and the dust in the air. As I said, obsessed. And that's before bringing in the battle mechanics. The battle mechanical... Uh, I don't really know what I was going for there, but look. I know no greater gameplay rush than firing explosive tipped arrows into a giant metal Spinosaurus that shoots plasma frickin' laser beams right out of its mouth. Hooah! But what I love most about this game is simpler than that. Horizon's most compelling factor, I think, is the way it marries a world worth falling in love with with a protagonist who never ceases to fall further in love with that world. My Girl Aloy isn't some jaded, gravel-voiced, world-weary ass who's been unwillingly roped into a quest she's trying desperately not to care about. Nah, this adventure matters to Aloy. Every fully realized biome, every expertly rendered commune, every perfectly imperfect person, and every absorbing little story they have to share actually matters to Aloy. She actually cares. There's something so nurturing, so motherly about the way she explores this world, the way she delves into its forgotten past and its uncertain future. There's something so warm in the way she sees, the way she listens. Call it some kind of feminine grace, maybe. Some kind of empathetic maternal perspective through which something affectionate and tender flows. But the feeling I had while playing this game, that whole 127 hours of it, was one of undiluted euphoric joy as I journeyed across the Forbidden West with an open heart overflowing with love for everything that surrounded me. Oh, what I'd give to do it all over again for the very first time.